hard to get your head around thinking like an 80,000 pound truck is gonna go down the road with nobody in it. But I guess that's the future, right? Wabi needs the acceptance of truck drivers that this technology is going to be safe. And that's why it's so exciting to be building the driver advisory board. These are the heroes of our roads that have done this you know, for many, many years, have tremendous experience. We really want this to be a discussion. We want you to feel like part of the family. You all are the missing voice in how all this technology is being built. There's probably a lot to be learned from somebody that's done 3 million miles. If I can take a part of someone driving safely, I want to do it. Making drivers prominent bodes well for what it will look like in the future. I don't know if you'd see a lot of that in any industry where they go to the people that actually do the grunt work and they say, hey, listen, how does this work? All the different scenarios that you're going to encounter out there, heavy traffic, light traffic. When to brake, when not to brake, or when to go off the road. You have to have 10 sets of bots. Wally's commitment to learning from drivers is, is real. I think we're going to open that dialogue between the people trying to program for safety and the people who live safety. Two thumbs up to Wabi in developing this driver board. I think Wabi is really making a unique and an important choice to set up this forum that we're going to meet again and again and again. I was very skeptical, but I know that Wabi is heading in the right direction. We haven't heard any of the other people in this space making this effort getting us involved in the development of this technology. The industry won't be the same, but I think it'll be better and safer for the motoring public. I'm proud to be part of this whole thing going forward. They're gonna actually make it happen and it's pretty amazing.